The WSU Extension Master Gardener Program empowers and sustains diverse communities with relevant, unbiased, research-based horticulture and environmental stewardship education to address nine important concerns facing Washington residents. The effects of climate change are expected to continue and future generations will be exposed and vulnerable. So our goal is to reduce our carbon footprint so that our girls can grow up in a world that's less affected by climate change. I watched one workshop and attended another workshop that taught me exactly what climate change is and what I can do to change things in my own gardening to reduce the effects of climate change. Photosynthesis helps turn carbon into carbohydrates, so plants are a big helper in that. I've started a practice when I clean up old plants that have expired. I just chop them off above the plant root, so that still sequesters the carbon down in the soil. We also have a lot of biodiversity, so we plant herbs and flowers in with our vegetables. It helps dissuade and confuse some of the pests. It brings a lot of the beneficials in to help pollinate things so that we don't have to do as much with the fertilizers and pesticides. And that helps keep our water clean. It helps increase the amount of carbon that's being turned into carbohydrates by the plants. And we just have healthier plants and healthier soil too. Each year the garden gets a little bit better. We're able to add more plants and we're able to increase the biodiversity. I use cardboard to suppress weeds. Again, it's a carbon that the, brings the worms and microbial life to the surface. So it helps suppress the weeds. It breaks down and feeds the microbial life. We use wood chips in some areas because they take longer to break down and they really hold the moisture in so they don't have to water as frequently. We produce enough food to feed ourselves and others. We give the neighbors produce that we have extra left over. My favorite thing is my potatoes because that's a, still a work in progress. Um, but we've just finished harvesting. and I think we put about 50 or 60 pounds of potatoes away. If we can go out and pick something fresh, we don't have as much plastic waste for packaging. The climate in this space is different than the climate just down the street because of what we've done to it. Our kids are gonna be way more enlightened and, and informed about what climate change is and how to do healthy practices. So it'll just be sec it won't even be second nature, it'll be first nature for them. It's a new learning experience every year because we'll get the hang of something and then something else will fly at us. And so we get to grow with the garden. It's kind of cool. Our girls get to grow with the garden.